If you're like most of us, when asked how old you are, your answer is based on how many candles were, or should have been, on your last birthday cake. That is your chronological age. But did you know that there is a lesser known way to classify age? It's known as your biological age. Chronological age is how we commonly define age. It is not, however, a very good indication of how well a person might be aging. Two individuals born in the same year might have different risks for developing certain age-related conditions because they are aging at different rates, even though they are the same chronological age. That is why you often see a person who appears and acts younger than they really are, and why it's important to think about your biological age in addition to your chronological age. Chronological age is measured in years, but biological age is assessed by a person's physical and mental functions. Your biological age, also known as your physiological age, is influenced by various factors. And while genetics plays a significant role in determining how well you age and, and your longevity, there are other important factors to consider. Lifestyle choices that you can make to influence something called epigenetics. Epigenetics is, is how your body turns on or turns off gene expression. And these are really lifestyle choices, and they include diet, nutrition, exercise, stress, exposure to environmental chemicals and other toxins, chronic health conditions, and sleep. Now, epigenetics works through largely something called DNA methylation, telomere length, oxidation, something called age products or advanced glycation in products. And those can turn on or turn off your genes. It's known as epigenetics and they have a powerful influence on how you age and your physiological or biological age. But did you also know that psychology, attitude and mood is enormously influential to how you age? When, when scientists look at who's called centenarians or those individuals living into their hundreds, many common threads are seen and certainly genetics plays a role, but epigenetics really important too. The basic things that I, I just talked about, diet, nutrition, stress, exercise, exposure to environmental toxins, sleep, but psychology, attitude, I call it the attitude of gratitude, and mood all play major roles in influencing how you age. Take a look below. I've included a couple of questionnaires or quizzes that you can perform at home to help illustrate how your psychology, attitude, and mood may be influencing how you age. Check it out, they're pretty cool tools. So at Zenith Labs, we've created a supplement called Longevity Activator. It helps to moderate some of these methylation processes on your DNA, the telomere, the length of your telomeres, and oxidation, age products. Check it out. It is clinically shown to, to help with some of these epigenetic processes that play a role. But please do not ignore the importance of psychology, attitude, and mood. And of course, any supplement is just that. It's a supplement. We really want to focus on lifestyle choices so that you can achieve optimal health and wellness. Make sure you like this page, subscribe it to your friends and loved ones. We have a website, zenithlabs.com, a Facebook page, an Instagram page. I want you to check in each and every week because we post each and every week on important topics to help you achieve and maintain optimal health and wellness. Thank you so much for your time and attention. My name is Dr. Ryan Shelton.